Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain to you how you can improve the recording quality on your Quest 2 and Quest 3 VR headsets. And also being able to record in a widescreen rather than square aspect ratio. The easiest way to do it is uh, using this SideQuest app. You need to go to sidequestvr.com slash setup dash how to. From there, download the advanced installer that you can see on the right. The easy installer is the one that you install on the headset. Uh, you don't need it, uh, but again, you can install it for easier access. But again, if, in order to be able to make changes, we need to download the advanced installer. This is the one that we need. Now, if you click show more, you'll see more options other than just Windows. For me, it shows Windows, but if you click show more, you see other options like Linux and Mac. So download the one that fits your platform. Then of course, uh, install the app. Now you need the VR link cable or a compatible VR link cable in order to connect your headset to your computer. You can find them in many places, for example, on amazon.com. So connect the first part to the headset and the other part of the USB cable to your computer. Once you've done that, you're gonna see that in your SiteQuest app, the red circle is going to turn to a green circle. This means that the Quest headset is connected and SideQuest recognizes it. Now, after you've done that, go to the top right side corner inside the SideQuest app and tap the wrench icon, device settings and tools. Now, this is the place we'll be able to set the quality settings. So if you scroll down and we go to streaming and video, we're going to have different options here. The one that I use is 1600 by 1600 and video capture uh, 60 FPS. The reason I use square because it's the larger size. It allows me to adjust the video after that in post production and I go with the highest 20 megabyte per second. Then scroll down and take the full rate capture. All right, this allows you to capture at a higher frame rate. The settings are also good in order to make sure you also maintain good performance overall. Now, there is an option to do it wirelessly using SideQuest, but you need to have the USB anyway to connect it first in order to enable the wireless option. So here my headset already connected and I just click connect. It's already connected with the USB cable to the PC and then wireless is available. Now I can just disconnect the USB cable and I can run ADB commands. Basically the same commands that I did before, but now I do it wirelessly. You can also see at the bottom that it, it tells you set OK, which means the command actually received by the headset. Again, this is not the only way to do it, but definitely is the easiest one, especially if you don't want to kind of mess around with some other EXE files and download some open source and do it. And again, the settings are great. They work great for me, for all the content that I create. So I'm sure it's going to work for you as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Good luck, have fun, give a like if you find this one useful. I'll see you in the next guide. Cheers.